and I will begin with making yeast free pizza dough and for that we need one and half cup of plain flour this is also known as maitha in that goes in fourth teaspoon of baking soda and half teaspoon of baking powder salt to taste mix that in and after this is mixed up next I will add yogurt to make this into dough mix that in and start to make it this into dough and I have used yogurt at room temperature I will also add in some water to make this into soft dough and we want to make this into a kind of very loose and sticky dough it needs to be very elastic now finally I will add in some lemon juice this lemon juice reacts with baking soda which in turn helps to rise up this dough and this is the consistency of dough that we are looking for very sticky and loose now I'm gonna transfer this into another bowl put some damp cloth on the top of this bowl cover that up and I'm gonna set this aside to rest for about four to six hours and while the pizza dough is resting we will begin to make our pizza sauce and for this here I have saucepan heating up over medium high heat in that goes in about two tablespoon of olive oil if you do not have olive oil you may you make use of any other oil in this goes in some grated garlic about a tablespoon mix that in and I'm gonna saute this garlic for another minute and after garlic is done next we need to put in some tomato puree and for this here I have used four ripe tomatoes I have blanched those tomatoes and removed seeds from it and then just roughly crushed into a blender and garlic looks good in here goes this tomato puree mix this in and you will find all the details regarding how to blanch tomatoes and remove seeds from it in my earlier video how to prepare yeast free homemade pizza now in this tomatoes we are gonna add all seasoning first goes in some oregano dried oregano has very strong flavor so just a little bit is enough next we will add in little bit of crushed black pepper and some chili flakes you may also make use of some finely chopped green chili now mix this through and instead of using oregano you may also make use of some garam masala coriander powder to make it into Indian tasting pizza sauce now I'm gonna bring this to boil over high heat alright it has come to a boil now I'm gonna lower down the heat to medium put the lid on and I will continue to cook this covered over medium high heat for 20 minutes and here the sauce is simmered over medium high heat for 20 minutes and look at that it has reduced a little bit and some of the moisture has been evaporated from this tomato now next in that I will add in few tablespoon of tomato ketchup this will help to give thickness to the sauce instead of ketchup you may also make use of some tomato paste if it is available add in some brown sugar to balance out the sour taste of tomatoes I will also add some basil leaves and salt to taste and now mix everything together here I have also added little bit of red food color now I will continue to cook this for 10 more minutes and this has been cooked for 10 minutes and look at that it's got beautiful thick texture and it's also got very nice red color 
and that's all now here my pizza sauce is ready and also this pizza dough has been resting for 4 hours and look at that this dough has risen up a little bit now I will dust some plain flour on this rolling board take this pizza dough and we'll need one more time for about 2 to 3 minutes just fold it and push it away that's all now I will divide this dough into three equal size balls and again I'm gonna put this back into bowl cover that up and keep it aside for 10 more minutes and while the pizza dough is resting we will make our vegetables ready since we are not baking this pizza we are gonna cook these vegetables a little bit I am using green pepper, red pepper and some mushroom and they will go into a teaspoon of hot olive oil mix and here I'm gonna stir fry these vegetables over medium high heat for only about two to three minutes we don't want to cook them completely or we don't want the veggies to turn very soft just cook them till the time they are 50 percent done and here veggies have been cooked for two minutes only and look at them they are cooked but at the same time they haven't turned soft now turn off the heat I'm not gonna bake this pizza today in the oven instead I'm gonna make use of two skillets everyone doesn't have oven available but I'm sure everyone do have the skillets available and to bake this pizza here I'm gonna make use of two shallow skillets and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna heat up one skillet put pizza on the top of it and I'm gonna cover that pizza with the use of another hot skillet on the top of it now let's take one of this pizza dough again I'm gonna dust some dry flour and just roll this out just like paratha it looks good and I'm gonna put this pizza base onto hot skillet and just like paratha I'm gonna roast one side of this pizza base on low to medium high heat and also at the same time here I have another skillet heating up over medium high heat and make sure that you are roasting it on low heat and look at that it is slightly started to bubble up it looks good now I'm gonna take this out onto plate flip this over and look at that it's been beautifully roasted it's got nice golden crust and now I'm gonna put all my toppings on the other side or roasted side of this pizza base first we need to brush this off with some olive oil next add in some pizza sauce just a little bit spread this around this oil will prevent this sauce from getting soaked in this pizza base next I will sprinkle some mozzarella cheese as much as more or less you like after cheese we will put all these stir fried vegetables some paper mushroom also have some black olives again we need to sprinkle some cheese over this vegetables I will also drizzle some olive oil which is purely optional and now it's good to go over hot skillet now put this pizza on this 
skillet just like that and I'm gonna cover that up with another hot skillet on the top of that now you have to be very careful when you bake this skillet or pan pizza the first thing is that the skillet or pan on which this pizza is cooking you always want to keep that on a very low heat on a very low heat setting and the other thing is the other skillet with which we are gonna cover this pizza it needs to be very very hot as uh, it's gonna help this cheese to melt down and it will also help these vegetables to cook a little bit and that's all now here this pizza has been cooked over very low heat for 15 minutes now remove the skillet wow look at that all the cheese has been melted yum now let me take this out into another dish Ooh. look at that it looks simply great let me cut this Wow, look at this piece of pizza and also its bottom size, it's got wonderful crust at the same time this bread or this pizza paste is rise up very nice, it's been cooked all the way through yeah. and it is looking super super delicious no one can really guess that it's yeast free made up with homemade sauce and that too on skillet or pan please feel free to share this recipe among your friends relatives as it's gonna be lifesaver for those who do not have oven available at home and also it's gonna be useful for those who do not have yeast or pizza sauce pizza dough easily available for list of ingredients and the text version of this recipe, please visit madurazarecipe.com developing a new test. See you soon. Bye-bye.